Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. My name is Muhammad Fadli bin Haji Ramdi. I'm representing Group 5 and I'll be joined by Sim Yi Bin to present about our analysis of industrial accidents in China and Taiwan. So the first page um, is our table of content. So we have the first one being introduction. Second is summary table of accidents. The third, incident description and analysis. As well, and the final one, recommendation. So first one, introduction. So aims and objective. So the aim and the objective is to raise awareness of importance of safety, to investigate the causes and mechanism of industrial incidents, to introduce um, methods to prevent repetition of the same accident from happening, as well as obtain information to prepare new guidelines and regulation for preventive purposes. So the next one is the metal methodology where we how we um, collect our information. So the first one is using a uh, World Wide Web and the internet. Second is using reliable news outlets such as CNN, Alki, RTI, South China Post, ECNS, and China Digital Times, as well as um, social media platforms such as YouTube. So the next point is the summary uh, table of incidents. There is a total of um, 21 case, cases ranging from... Uh, uh, incident caused by poor or improper use of equipment, um, illegal storage of chemicals, overheating or overpressure, negligence, rock bursts, leakage, and gas exposure. We'll be covering them in detail in point three, which is the next one. So poor, wrong, illegal equipment. So case one, it resulted in an explosion. Case 18, it resulted in structural collapse. Um, case 19, it resulted in mechanical failure. Case 20, it resulted in structural failure. And the final one, case 21, it resulted in mechanical failure, which is the crane being fall, falling down. So next one, we have the layer of protection. So there wasn't any process control system, such as uh, temperature monitoring and cooling measure. So... For the safety management system, it lacks the standard operating procedure, uh, the safety risk identification, as well as awareness of hazardous uh, chemicals and tower cranes. So the next one is illegal storage of chemicals, which involved case, case 5. This resulted in an explosion due to self-combustion of the chemicals. So layer of protection, there wasn't any alarm or safety interlock system. Uh, next one is the safety management system. So the plan failed to review the safety design of the chemical plant. So project, the project passed without any sufficient risk analysis. So the next one being overheating and overpressure, which involve case number six which resulted in blast furnace explosion due to overheating and pressure. Um, also, a case number 12, which also involved, um, eh, resulted in explosion due to overheating. So, layer of protection is compromised basic process control system, such as a defect, defective um, safety valve. Uh, next one, uh, the safety management system, which... Uh, is poor structural design or lack of understanding of the safety risk, risk and on-site supervision. So the final one before I pass the floor to Sim Yipin is negligence. So all these cases uh, involved resulted in an explosion. Uh, so layer of protection uh, in absence of safety interlock system. Uh, next one is safety management system. So it lacks the safety procedure. It uh, also uh, in in effective supervision as well as there was some of the facilities were still under construction. So it became kind of dangerous to operate under. 
So I'm going to pass the floor to Simi Pen to continue the presentation. Thank you. I will continue with the next part of our presentation. Case 9 was the collapse of the coma as a result of a rock burst. In terms of layer of protection, there is no proper monitoring or detection system are being implemented. And for the safety management system are due to the lack of knowledge regarding rock burst, lack of appropriate technology, and lack of training and equipment. As for K7, it was an explosion incident due to a seal leak. In terms of layer of protection, basic process control are all obsolete. As for the safety management measure are due to poor supervision of the company equipment and lack of awareness of safety issue. Meanwhile, case 2, 3, 10, 11, and 14 share similar gas exposure accident that have resulted in multiple casualties. In terms of layer of protection, there was a lack of emergency response measure in case 10. For case 2, 3, 11, and 14, there was no identification of safety risk for the facility and provision for preventive gas outbursts were not implemented. Aside from that, the safety management system for these cases were jeopardized when the operator had insufficient skill training and awareness of handling hazardous chemicals. These pictures are some examples of the aftermath of the tragedy that took place in Taiwan and China. For the recommendation, it is to follow laws and regulations related to occupational safety and health. Put more effort in revolving industrial safety facility and system. Implement inherently safer design philosophy for all facilities even before the industry became operational. Perform regular maintenance and audit process. Conduct more accident prevention program and safety training. Other than that, government should review and ensure occupational safety and health of every industry is updated. Moreover, occupational safety and health committee should implement Procedure for reporting complaints, accident abnormality, and close call. Last but not least, the company needs a stricter hiring process. Higher employees should meet the criteria such as having good knowledge, preparedness, and adaptiveness in the principle of HHC while in the workplace. Thoughts of the day. Future is bright when safety is right. No safety, more risk. More safety, no risk. Ignorance is the greatest enemy. Safety is gainful and accident is painful. So that's all from us. Thank you.